Welcome to History's Darkest Questions. Today's video is Religion's Controversial Role in Homosexuality Debate. The battle lines have been drawn, with lives, love, and dignity hanging in the balance. Religion's controversial role in the homosexuality debate is a topic saturated with both passionate support and vehement opposition, revealing a history of struggles, persecution, and sometimes acceptance. The intensity of these discussions can shake the very foundations of individual beliefs and societal norms. Are you ready to delve into the depths of this fiery intersection between faith and sexual orientation? For centuries, religious doctrines have shaped the fabrics of societies worldwide. In many instances, these doctrines have condemned homosexuality, branding same-sex relationships as immoral, sinful, or even criminal. The impact of such teachings on LGBTQ individuals has led to devastating consequences, families torn apart, mental health crises, and even tragic instances of suicide. Historical accounts reveal that homosexuality was punishable by death in various ancient civilizations, driven by strict interpretations of religious texts. The weight of divine condemnation has often served as a powerful instrument of oppression. In the early 20th century, homosexuality was not just a religious issue, but a legal one, heavily influenced by the predominant religious morals of the time. Sodomy laws in places like the United States, influenced by Judeo-Christian values, resulted in imprisonment and public shaming. As late as the 1960s, LGBTQ individuals were subjected to electroshock therapy and chemical castration in the name of religiously influenced medical cures. This dark chapter in history underscores the extent to which religiously driven ideologies could inflict suffering. Despite the predominant narrative of rejection, stories of religious acceptance and advocacy also emerged. Progressive factions within Christianity, Judaism, and other religions began to reinterpret sacred texts, advocating for a more inclusive stance. The 1968 founding of the Metropolitan Community Church was a landmark moment, offering a spiritual haven for LGBTQ Christians. Nevertheless, the path to acceptance continues to be paved with strife. The AIDS crisis of the 1980s further highlighted these tensions, as some religious leaders proclaimed the epidemic as divine retribution, while others rushed to offer compassion and support. Behind every statistic and historical milestone lies a personal story. Consider the torment faced by LGBTQ individuals who are deeply religious, forced to choose between their faith and their identity. The doctrine of love the sinner, hate the sin has been a particularly insidious form of rejection, perpetuating feelings of unworthiness and self-loathing. The emotional turmoil is palpable in testimonies from individuals subjected to conversion therapies, encountering not just psychological, but often physical trauma in attempts to alter their sexual orientation. Modern day debates highlight the ongoing struggle for reconciliation between faith and sexual identity. The legalization of same-sex marriage in various countries has been met with both jubilant celebrations and fervent protests, often spearheaded by religious organizations. High-profile court cases, such as those involving bakers refusing to make wedding cakes for same-sex couples, underscore the continued conflict between religious freedom and LGBTQ rights. These legal battles are more than just disputes over services. They represent the broader clash of moral and ethical worldviews shaped by religious convictions. Religious influence extends beyond Western narratives. In regions like the Middle East and parts of Africa, homosexuality remains punishable by death, underpinned by interpretations of Islamic or indigenous religious laws. The horrific tales of public executions, honor killings, and state-sanctioned violence reveal the brutal consequences of intertwining faith with governance. The international outcry often clashes with deeply embedded religious traditions, making the fight for universal human rights an uphill battle. Controversies also arise within religious communities themselves, with factions splintering over LGBTQ inclusion. The schism in the United Methodist Church, debating over the ordination of LGBTQ clergy and same-sex marriages, reflects the internal conflicts simmering within many denominations. Such divisions aren't just symbolic, but often result in tangible changes in leadership, membership, and global outreach, 
affecting millions of believers. Amidst the contentious discourse, it's vital to recognize the resilience of the LGBTQ faithful who refuse to be alienated from their spiritual heritage. Many have formed their own congregations or found refuge in accepting communities within their religious traditions. This determination epitomizes the ongoing journey towards an intersectional identity where faith and sexuality can coexist without compromise. In the crucible of public opinion, media portrayals of the homosexuality debate have played a pivotal role. Films, television shows, and news coverage have both challenged and reinforced religious stereotypes. Stories like that of Matthew Shepard, a young gay man brutally murdered in 1998, served as a catalyst for broader discussions on hate crimes and the church's role in either condemning or condoning such violence. The dialogue between religion and homosexuality is far from resolution, reflecting deep-seated convictions and evolving societal values. From ancient codes to modern legislation, the interplay of faith and sexual orientation remains a potent force shaping lives, laws, and love. As individuals continue to navigate this challenging terrain, the quest for dignity, acceptance, and mutual understanding beckons us all to reconsider the power of belief in shaping our world.